the plan in Smalls Creek, in the ravine, is to create a 400-foot concrete wall which replaces the trees and ultimately will replace the ecology uh, in a large way throughout the ravine. To get our message clear to them, we have created a 400-foot temporary wall, which is a, essentially a 400-foot banner. It's a message back to Metrolinx uh, in our efforts to have a dialogue. Uh, we've got 50 billboard signs here. Uh, it's a 400-foot message. It's the same distance as what we're going to be seeing in Smalls Creek with a concrete wall. Uh, we think there's a better way. We want the transit, we want, in a sense, we want what Metrolinx wants. We want public transit, all of that. But we think there's a better way to do it. This reenactment of the proposed Metrolinx wall is um, a way to help the community and politicians and everyone else envisage uh, what is coming to Smalls Creek in terms of its length which is basically a football field. It's absurd that we have to have a conversation through a 400 foot banner, but uh, they're reaching out to us through billboards. The community is okay with the transit expansion. We accept that that's part of city life. However, destroying the ravine to create that strikes me as being a lazy engineering solution. It's efficient. It's as if we had to get this done quickly because there was something imminently happening. There's plenty of time to go back, study this a bit carefully, uh, recognize that the ravine actually is more important than they had given it credit to be. You know, ideally engage with the community to discuss alternatives. We haven't gotten any traction with Metrolink. They are unwilling to work with the community to address concerns in a meaningful way. They are not prepared to revisit their design and we're confident that there are other ways to approach these lands. The action is necessary, unfortunately, because the Metrolinx doesn't really have to answer to anyone. There is really no appetite for discussion with the communities. There's limited interest or concern for the environment. There's a lot of uh, money being spent on billboards to suggest otherwise with these really, I think, um, simplistic ways of assessing the situation that for every tree that comes out three go in i mean the math is absurd you look at it as a three to one you go wow that's that's a lot better if you take out a hundred year tree and replace it with a one-year sapling or three of them you're still 97 years short and it's coming down to the wire basically without any significant change or uh, pledge to do better certainly with all three levels of government fully on board with it on our side we are all trying to connect with them. It's not even about saving face or feeling that they had to lose. I've written letters to Phil Verster myself saying, we can both win on this one. Smalls Creek wants some things that are very manageable and what you need is transit. We're not in your way of that. We'd actually think it would be fantastic if we could celebrate Metrolinx as coming back to the table and coming up with a greener solution.